नमस्कार इंडिया मेट्रोलॉजिकल डिपार्टमेंट वेलकम टू इन इट्स डेली वेदर ब्रीफिंग हियर यू विल सी व्हाट वाज द ऑब्जर्व वेदर ड्यूरिंग पास्ट 24 फोर आवर्स ओवर द कंट्री एंड व्हाट विल बी द वेदर फोरकास्ट फॉर द नेक्स्ट फाइव डेज ओवर द कंट्री एंड इफ यू लुक फॉर द ऑब्जर्व वेदर ड्यूरिंग पास्ट ट्वेंटी फोर आवर देन स्टेडे एक्सट्रीमली हैवी रेनफॉल हैज बिन रिपोर्टेड ओवर द गुजरात स्टेट एंड वेरी हैवी रेनफॉल हैज बिन रिपोर्टेड ओवर द कोंकण घाट एरिया ऑफ द मध्य महाराष्ट्र मध्य वेस्टर्न पार्ट्स ऑफ द मध्य प्रदेश पंजाब एंड एक्सट्रीमली हैवी रेनफॉल वॉज ऑल्सो रिपोर्टेड over the coastal karnataka and south interior karnataka and kerala and heavy rainfall has been reported at one or two places over the north interior karnataka odisha chatisgarh vidarbha east madhya pradesh rajasthan haryana and uttarakhand and over the north eastern states also isolated heavy rainfall has been observed over the arunachal pradesh nagaland and tripura and if you look for the today's main chief synoptic features so today as we can see the monsoon trough lies uh, south of its normal position and it is basically passing through the gujarat then it goes through the vidarbha area then south chatisgarh south odisha and then it goes up to up to the east central bay of bengal uh, we know uh, this monsoon trough uh, is lying south of its normal position since last 4 to 5 days because of that the rainfall activity has been reduced over the northern parts of, pa, northern parts of the country since last 4 to 5 days from tomorrow onwards this monsoon trough will gradually shift uh, northward and it will reach near normal position by 25th of july so as this monsoon uh, trough will shift northward the rainfall activity will increase over the northern parts of the country mainly the plains of northwest india uh, from 25th of july and as far as the uh, this gujarat state is concerned the isolated extremely heavy rainfall will continue over the state during next 24 hours and from tomorrow onwards there will be the gradual reduction in rainfall activity uh, mainly over the gujarat state over the karnataka as well however isolated heavy to very heavy rainfall activity very likely to continue over the konkan goa and ghat areas of the madhya maharashtra and uh, uh, another we have a cyclonic circulation which lies over the central parts of the madhya pradesh and a shear line is also passing through the maharashtra telangana chatisgarh and odisha in the middle tropospheric levels and over the south odisha a cyclonic circulation lies uh, 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 in the lower tropospheric levels and uh, over the west central bay of bengal and adjoining northwest bay of bengal close to the south odisha coast a cyclonic circulation and basically another cyclonic circulation is likely to develop by tomorrow and under its influence a low pressure area will form over the same region during subsequent 24 hours means around 25th of july when this low pressure area will form over the uh, south odisha coast because of that once again the rainfall activity will increase mainly over the south odisha south chatisgarh telangana and coastal andhra pradesh uh, from 25th of july and as far as the northwest uh, basically the himachal pradesh and uttarakhand and the north east india is concerned isolated heavy rainfall activity at one or two places will continue and over the central india particularly over the madhya pradesh vidarbha and over the east rajasthan isolated rainfall activity at one or two places will continue during next 5 days and if we look for the weather warning for the next 5 days and uh, uh, as far as the gujarat it concern isolated extremely heavy rainfall is likely during next 24 hours so we have given the red color warning for the state for today from tomorrow only very heavy rainfall activity at one or two places will continue so orange color warning is gujarat gujarat state for tomorrow is given and from 25th only uh, yellow color warning we have given and for 26 and 27th of july there is no weather warning it means rainfall activity will significantly reduce over the gujarat from 26 of july over the maharashtra mainly over the konkan goa and ghat area of the maharashtra uh, isolated very heavy rainfall activity at one or two places will continue during all the five days and we have given the orange color warning for for the region for all the five days as far as the south peninsular india is concerned uh, ha- isolated heavy rainfall activity at one or two places will continue over the kerala tamil nadu karnataka uh telangana andhra pradesh during all the five days and even isolated very heavy rainfall activity is likely over the kerala south interior karnataka and coastal karnataka on today so we have given the orange color warning for the karnataka and kerala for today and as far as the odisha is concerned isolated heavy to very heavy rainfall activity will continue during all the five days mainly over the odisha chatisgarh madhya pradesh and rajasthan particularly east rajasthan very likely to receive isolated heavy rainfall activity at one or two places during all the five days and uh, as we have seen a fresh low pressure area is likely to form over the uh, south odisha coast close to the south odisha coast by 25th 25th of july so from 25th of july rainfall activity will increase in very heavy rainfall 
uh, is very likely over the South Odisha, Telangana and coastal Andhra Pradesh from 25th, 26th and 27th of July. So we have given the orange color warning for all those areas for, from 25th of July. Similarly, uh, as far as the central India means Madhya Pradesh and East Rajasthan is concerned, isolated rainfall activity will continue over the region. Similarly, over the North East India and similarly over the Himachal Pradesh and Uttarakhand also very likely to receive isolated heavy rainfall activity during all the five days. So we have given the yellow color warning for all those regions in the upcoming five days. As far as we have also seen that the monsoon trough will gradually shift northward and from 25th of July, this trough will reach uh, very close to its normal position. Position. So because of that the rainfall activity once again will enhance over the northern plains of the country. So uh, mainly the Punjab, Haryana including Delhi and Sayar regions and Uttar Pradesh very likely to receive isolated heavy rainfall activity from 25th of July and this heavy rainfall activity over the Punjab, Haryana, Chandigarh, Delhi, Uttar Pradesh will continue during uh, subsequent 4 to 5 days. And for more detailed weather, uh, even, even if you look for the impact of the extremely heavy rainfall mainly over the Gujarat state for today and over the Ghat area of the Madh Maharashtra of today, uh, there is a possibility of localized flooding and there is also possibility of water logging mainly in the low lying areas because of the extremely heavy rainfall. There is a uh, there will be reduction in visibility and because of the reduction in visibility and the water logging on the roads and the low lying areas there is a possibility of the disruption in the traffic and extremely heavy rainfall will also cause some damage to the kacha roads and some damage to the other one rebel structures because of this extremely heavy rainfall activity over those regions uh, mainly over the hilly regions of those states localized landslide and mudslide is also possible at one or two places and this uh, extremely heavy rainfall uh, may damage some horticultures and standing crops over the states. And because of these, uh, uh, these impacts, we, we, we provide you some kind of advisories like whenever we, you are going out of home, uh, then please always check for the traffic congestion in your area and al always follow the traffic advisory in your regions and always be updated with the weather information and during the heavy rainfall as well, avoid going to the uh, uh, vulnerable structure and always avoid going to the area that face the water logging problems very often. For more detailed weather information, you can visit the IMD website, you can follow us on our YouTube page, our Facebook page and our Twitter page. Thank you.